Hansel was fresh from his first Formula One title, wrapping up the championship early at the Hungarian Grand Prix, then announcing he was heading to America and Indy racing. Michael Andretti became a champion at 29, securing an IndyCar title in Monterey, outshining even his father Mario, but Michael also longed for new challenges. His Formula One career did not get off to a flying start. He was fortunate to escape injury in this crash, one of three. He failed to finish his first four races. Meanwhile, Nigel Mansell excelled. Yeah, I, I think that um, anyone who's uh, racing in any formula wants to continue to have success. While they continue to have success, they'll continue racing. And I think my uh, career now, um, with 30 wins in Formula One, uh, accumulating in a Formula One World Championship last year, and now winning over here on this side of the water in Indy cars and leading the championship here. I just want to build on that and win more races and uh, be as successful as I can. And when I feel that um, I don't have the opportunity to be successful or my own personal speed has left me through either injury or through old age, and I'm still very young, um, then uh, my motivation is just to continue and be successful. Success was immediate for Mansell, a winner in his debut, followed by two-thirds and another win, prompting this advice from a friendly rival. Yeah, drive a little slower because he's driving too quick. Michael Andretti came to Montreal with his confidence on the rise after finishing in Spain and Monaco. Still, he's been plagued by unforeseen problems, experiencing difficult times. Nigel Mansell knows the feeling, but believes Michael has the talent and the support to become successful in F1. Uh, Mario, it's a fantastic advantage for Michael to have a father like Mario to give him good sound advice and uh, Michael spoke to me at times and uh, I think in time he'll, uh, he'll handle the situation over there very, very well but I think he's finding out that uh, already that people can be very unkind if things don't go well for him and it's just a different situation over there to what it is here. He'll settle down, he'll get a few under his belt. And I think everybody's also forgetting that Michael's shown up in most of these circuits never having driven the circuit. And there's been a lot of compliments on how fast he learns the track. So he's going to be fine. When the McLaren's not quite up to the power standards of Williams and Benetton, Michael also has had problems handling the car. Yesterday qualified 12th, and his best finish is only 5th. Still, Michael is convinced he has made the right move to Formula One. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's been a very big adjustment for me, and uh, I must say I'm not fully adjusted to it yet, but uh, it's coming every race, you know, I can feel a little bit more comfortable, and, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. Also, the cars are much different, so they, they drive completely different, and, uh, you know, I'm just having problems getting used to that because I've been doing something for the last 10 years one way, and I have to tell myself to do it another. There's a small circle of drivers who have competed at both Indy and Formula One. They're watching Michael closely. Those who know him feel confident he'll begin to display his true driving ability. Uh, he has the potential. I think uh, he's just, you know, he don't have the brakes so far. In terms of the car, you know, of course you need to adjust to the car, but uh, I, I don't think this is the main problem uh, because, uh, you know, he, he could adjust himself in any car if you have the talent. And, and Michael has the talk. Michael and I talk all the time. I mean, uh, racing is our business, a livelihood, and uh, I'm naturally in touch with him uh, for whatever reason, more for curiosity's sake from my side. And, uh, you know, if I could throw a hint of something that I see from the outside, uh, yes, I do. That's what we do all the time with one another.